Now our next topic is under the bus and the scripture we're going to look at is in Genesis chapter 3 verse 12 and here's how it reads. The man said, the woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. Now this response to guilt is repeated to this very day, everyone. We blame someone else for the choices we make and this undoubtedly was the first event that coined the phrase, throwing someone under the bus. <laughs> no kidding. Adam had yet to understand his role as a mate to Eve or his accountability for his actions. Now, right. first we see Adam and Eve did not take personal accountability for their choices. Eve blamed the serpent. Adam blamed, blamed Eve. Eve. Now, as a couple, we're responsible to test all spirits and actions against the word and spirit of God. Here is what it says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. That's right. You know, we can't simply pass the responsibility to another person, not even our church leadership. That's right. We can sometimes think that being under the authority of a church leadership spiritually exonerates us from the consequences and responsibilities of bad decisions. And I think we can see from our verse in Genesis that really that was not the case for Adam and Eve and I don't think that's going to be the case for anybody. That's right. Both Adam and Eve knew God had commanded them not to eat the fruit mm -hmm. of this tree. So this was not because they lacked knowledge of God's word. Where Adam and Eve failed was not being united in holding each other accountable to God's commands. That's right. Each partner should be fully involved in decision making and for his or own part of the relationship and role in the family. Each partner should be permitted the authority to call a timeout. Timeouts bring a halt to any progression in decision making until both parties have had the opportunity to pray and to discuss the situation. That's right. You know, we know this can be difficult when a decision is needed to be made quickly, but both partners should speak up when circumstances arise that require a serious decision or when it appears that they'll be venturing outside of the covering of God's command. That's right. In a case where you cannot agree on a decision, what must be made and it's important to decide ahead of time how you're going to handle that right. you know it's completely normal um, to see that much of the time that you and your spouse don't agree on something but it should not <laughs> be the point of arguing and causing division you should know that this is normal and we need to have a plan ahead of time to resolve these differences and part of that is prayer and part of it is through discussion right that's right you know the bible says that the man is the head of the home and will ultimately be held responsible for the decision so he should make a careful decision to consider his wife's input now neither partner will escape the consequences of poor decision making by their mate that's right now as it was with adam and eve right and even their offspring they all suffered the consequences Yes, we did. Thank you for joining Lesson Tracy King for A Word on the Word. Visit a wordontheword.tv to receive their latest audio or video broadcast. A Word on the Word is sponsored by First Century Ministry.